YouTube, how's everybody doing? My name is JC and welcome to the Cuban Redneck DIY channel where we do cooking and grilling on Tuesdays and DIY stuff on Friday. Uh, if this is your first time here, welcome. And uh, if you haven't done anything nice today, please click that little button there and you will automatically become awesome. With that said, today I want to talk to you about raised planters. Yeah, the, those are the little boxes where you plant your vegetables at. So last year I made a few of them. I built two for ourselves, one for our neighbors. And uh, we got some pretty nice results from it. Uh, this is what they look like. Uh, we yielded probably, uh, I'm gonna say conservatively saying $100, $150 worth of groceries out of it. Uh, a lot of people criticized me on Facebook when I posted the pictures because they said, oh, you're gonna spend $100 to yield $10 of, of groceries. No, the contrary. Uh, so if anything that we learned from this pandemic is that we need to become self-reliant. Uh, wood is up. I don't know, 80%, uh, gas is up 40%. Uh, it's just a matter of time before all of that cost of doing business gets pushed down to the stuff that we buy every day, milk, uh, vegetables, etc. cetera. So uh, there is no better time than today to start a vegetable garden and raised planters are the way to do it. Uh, I don't care if you live in, a, in an apartment, in a condo, you can do this stuff on your balcony. So I've done it, so I know. Uh, with that said, let's stop talking, let's start building, stick around. Know that I'm building this raised planter box in a way that is very inviting to those that are not into woodworking. And although I will be using my miter saw, you can build this with really basic tools like a miter box and a hand saw. I'm also going to use two of my drills for efficiency. But if you only have one, consider getting a flip bit like this one to achieve similar results. As to the wood, I'm going to go back to what I have used in many projects on my channel, and that is fence boards. They are cheap, readily available, and hold up to the weather very well. For screws, I'm going to be using this grip right exterior screws, but know that regular drywalls will give you about a 3-4 to four year life in the outdoors without any issues. You are going to need a total of six fence boards to make one raised planter box that measures 19 inches by 71 and three 36 inch deck balusters. The first thing we need to do is get rid of this pointy end the fence boards are known for. I then stack the two other boards together and cut them into four pieces of 17 and three quarter inch. As far as the deck balusters are concerned, those get cut in half. Assembly of the raised planter is quite straightforward and we'll start by building the two ends, followed by the center support. A lot of precision is not required here. Just lay your short boards over the balusters, drill and screw together. As to the glue, I'm not going to say it's required, but if it helps the planter stay together for an extra season, I think it's all worth it. Please don't forget that you need a left and a right. In other words, these two pieces have to be a mirror of each other. I remember that because when I built the last one, I ended up with two left sides and I had to take it apart and rebuild it. The center support or divider is also another one of my old builds, but with the previous one, I experienced a little bit of bulging in the middle due to the lack of support. You probably only need to do one side, but I have nothing else to do with the two little pieces, so why not use them? And I'll tell you what, it definitely made a difference in the final product. With all three of our dividers complete, it is time to put our sideboards in place. I start with the center one and work myself out. And once you are done with that, we need to flip it around and do the same thing all over again.
Okay, so here's the raised planter. Note that I will be digging six holes and putting it right on the ground. But if you want it to stand on the legs, just add four more boards to the bottom and make a floor. Line it up with weed fabric and you are ready to go. This ray planter box with legs or without it is your first step towards a successful vegetable garden. Please support this channel by subscribing, liking and sharing. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Thank you.